We turn now to New York to look at a string of police shootings and a beating involving young black males that has community members outraged. FSRN's Jessel Noor reports. On February 1st, New York police officers broke into the home of an unarmed 18-year-old and shot him in the chest. Ramarley Graham was killed in front of his grandmother. Police said they found a bag of marijuana in the toilet. Since then, the community has been organizing and demanding accountability for this and other incidents in which police killed or beat young African Americans or Latinos. Bronx activist Claudia De La Cruz addressed a crowd at a rally Monday. So we are safe. So we are safe. And we are demanding. And we are demanding. That justice. That justice. Will be served. Will be served. In the institutions. In the institutions. Or in the streets. Or in the streets. Family members led a march to the 42nd Precinct in the Bronx, demanding the officers involved in the incident be brought to justice. Bronx activist Tenzin Shanila explains why hundreds turned out. People were there because... They're outraged. The community is outraged. Um, the community is angry. And people were there to show support for the family. Supporters also gathered at a bail hearing in support of 19-year-old Bronx resident J. Tech Reed. A video posted online shows multiple officers kicking, punching, and hitting Reed during his arrest on assault and drug charges last month. Defense attorney Gideon Oliver is demanding an independent investigation because of the close ties between the police and Bronx District Attorney Robert Johnson. I don't think that Robert Johnson's office can conduct a fair and impartial investigation based on the symbiotic relationship uh, between his office and the cops. In late January, police killed two other men, one of whom was reportedly armed with a cane. Although the department has previously denied accusations of racial profiling, Oliver says these incidents are symptomatic of a discriminatory criminal justice system. Well, you know, I I mean, this unfolded, first of all, in the Bronx, where, you know, uh, the police department's stop and frisk uh, program uh, is epidemic um, and where, uh, you know, uh, false marijuana and other drug related arrests by NYPD officers, including narcotics officers, are epidemic and where, you know, racism and police brutality are epidemic. That sentiment is shared by many community members, including Maxine King, who says the pattern of abuse must be stopped. This thing happened in my community every day, every day. My, I have five sons. My five sons can't even go outside and make it back to the house without being stopped. They get stopped right in front of their building. And as a parent, if I come downstairs and I say, these are my children, officer, what is the problem? I am told to step away and mind my business on a regular basis. Police Commissioner Ray Kelly says they are investigating the Graham killing and Reed beating. The department took the guns and badges from the officers involved in the killing, but family members and residents say they'll continue demanding justice and accountability for these and other victims of police brutality. Jess Lenore, FSRN, New York.